Hi, this is Jason Stanfield with Ventura Keyboards, and I'm going to show you the first keyboard in the Ventura line, the new TX5 Classic Combo Organ. This video is the first in a series that will cover the TX5's features in depth, and of course demonstrate just how awesome this organ sounds. Let's get started with an overview of the TX5's features and controls. The TX5 organ is a tone wheel modeling organ, meaning no samples, that features incredible customizability and control, all in a lightweight and affordable package. The TX5 is 32 voice polyphonic, includes five different organ models, realistic effects, 61 keys, two sets of drawbars, and pitch and modulation wheels. The organ's weight is just 23 pounds, so it's very portable. The TX5 can be expanded with the TX5 lower manual seen here. The first thing you'll notice on the TX5 is that it has two sets of drawbars. Drawbar group A for the upper manual, and drawbar group B for the lower manual. Since the TX5 itself is the complete instrument, and the lower manual being just a controller, you can use the TX5 alone. To get upper and lower manual sounds on the TX5 by itself, press the split button. Now middle C and above is your upper manual, and everything below is the lower manual. The split point can be changed to any key on the instrument in the configuration menu. We'll look into that a little later. In this section, you'll see the drawbar assignment and preset controls. The TX5's default setup is the upper manual is assigned to drawbar A and the lower manual is assigned to drawbar B. This can be easily reversed though. Press upper, assign to B, press lower, assign to A. Most organists play the draw bars as much as they play the keys, but sometimes you can't get where you need quickly enough. You need to call up a setting instantly. These seven buttons are where you store draw bar presets. To use the draw bar presets, select a manual, then one of the preset buttons. When a preset is in use, the draw bars are non-functional, making the A and B groupings sort of a live setting. To create your own preset, press the upper or lower buttons, Return it to the live position, adjust the draw bars, hold down the corresponding preset location, the preset will be stored, and now you can access that instantly with either one of the manuals. An organ sound is certainly more than its draw bar settings. Effects like key click, percussion, chorus and vibrato, etc. shape the sound as much as the draw bars do. You can quickly activate those effects on the TX5's panel, but a more efficient way to work is to create programs. Unlike the drawbar presets, which only store the drawbar positions, a program stores all of the sound settings, including effects and their individual settings. You can create up to 24 preset programs on the TX5. You have three banks with eight sounds per bank. To access a program, press the bank button, choose a bank, and then choose a sound within that bank. To create a program, simply make your settings and hold down the program location. The screen will display that it's been stored in memory and it will remain there until you make changes and overwrite it again. Now to save the sound in more than one location, all you have to do is just choose another location and press the button down. So now you have two programs that are identical. The TX5 Classic includes an excellent rotary speaker simulation. The controls are located on the far left side of the keyboard. Its rotary speaker simulation is highly customizable, and once you've reached that just right sound, you can store it into the program memory. Let's quickly go through these. I press the configuration button, and then press the rotary speaker, and I'm just going to page through these parameters.
The TX-5 comes with a number of realistic effects to help you sculpt your sound. Each one can be customized in detail and stored per program. The vibrato and chorus controls are found on the left side of the keyboard. The TX-5 also comes with reverb on board. Press the reverb button to turn it on, and use the middle knob on the left to adjust its blend. We also have overdrive. To turn that on, just press the overdrive button and use the right knob on the left side to control the blend. Key click is also found in this section. For percussion, choose either the 4 or 2 and 2 thirds buttons and use the fast and soft buttons to color the sound. Now in a traditional organ, percussion can only be heard when there are no other notes sounding. It can be used very expressively, but the necessary technique is a difficult one to master. So the TX-5 has a shortcut, polyphonic percussion, which allows the percussion to be heard on all notes played, even if another note is being sustained. Function and behavior of the keys themselves are controlled over here in the keyboard section on the far right side of the panel. From this location you can split the keyboard, turn transposition on and off, displace the octave, and you can also turn on velocity response which is crucial when using the TX-5 as a MIDI controller. The center of the panel is where you can get under the TX-5's hood and really customize it to your liking. The labels on the top of the buttons open different menus, and the labels below them navigate you through those menus. The sound button allows you to configure the organ model and related parameters to the individual sound. In the setup menu, global functions are accessed. You press the MIDI button and you can get in here and choose what you want to do with the MIDI, upper lower response and transmission, etc. The configuration button doesn't do anything by itself, but when you press an effect button and then press configuration, you can access pages of algorithms to customize. For instance, key click. If I press configuration and then key click again, I can choose the algorithm, the intensity, and choose whether or not I want the key click to sound on release. Finally, let's take a look at the TX-5's connections. We have an internal power supply, thus no wall wart or inline brick configuration power supply. All you need to do is connect the included two-prong AC cable to it, and the voltage selector is accessible from the rear panel. Audio outputs include mono left and right, a stereo channel, and a separate headphone output, which has a typically stronger signal. The MIDI section includes in, out, and through, so the TX-5 can easily be integrated into a complex keyboard rig. A dedicated MIDI input is provided for the PD-2 pedal board. The foot switch input accepts a momentary switch pedal and can be used to control the rotary speaker speed. It can also be used as a sustain pedal. Last is a new addition to the TX-5, something that is not on the Tokai TX-5 but on the Ventura TX-5, which is the expression pedal input. Using a variable control pedal, the organ swell can be affected. Note that the TX-5's pedal polarity is set to closed, so make sure you're using pedals made by Roland or other makers of closed polarity pedals or those that have a polarity switch on them. This wraps up our introduction to the Ventura TX-5 Classic Organ. I hope you found it informative and that you'll check back often for a more in-depth look into the TX-5. And don't worry, performance videos are coming very soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around. Thank you.